Okay, so now we're going to look at solving some radical equations. So here we have uh, square root of 3x plus 5 equals 6, and we'd like to get rid of the square root so that we can solve the equation. So we say we have square root, so let's square both sides. If we square the square root, it goes away, and 6 squared in this case would be 36. I'll ask you to take a moment and solve that equation. So to solve this, we'd subtract 5 from both sides, get 3x equals 31, and then divide both sides by 3, we get x equals 31. But because we squared both sides, we do need to check the solution. So we check by taking that answer, plugging it back into the original equation, and then we simplify each side to see if in fact they are equal. So here we would have 3 times 31 over 3, the 3's would cancel, you get 31 plus 5, which would be square root of 36. Square root of 36 is in fact equal to 6. And so that is in fact an answer to the equation. x equals 31 thirds. Now let's move on to a second example. 2x minus 3 equals negative 4. Once again we have a square root, so to get rid of it we square both sides. When we square the square root, it will go away. And when we square negative 4, we would get 16. Okay, and then we proceed to solve that equation, and I'll ask you to take a moment to do that. So solving the equation now, uh, we add 3 to both sides, we get 2x equals 19. Divide both sides by 2, we get x equals 19 halves. But again, because we squared both sides, we do need to check the solution. So we plug that answer in and test both sides. Now, 2 times 19 halves will be, the 2's will cancel out, we'll get 19. 19 minus 3 is the square root, uh, would be 16. The square root of 16 is 4, but 4 is not equal to negative 4. 4 is not equal to negative 4. So, what that tells us is our answer there, 19 halves, is not a solution. So we cross it out. Now that was the only answer we got, and it turns out it doesn't work. So that means this equation has no solution. There's no solution to this equation. So it's very important when you're dealing with uh, these radical equations. When you square both sides of an equation, you then must test your answers to see if they are in fact actually answers because as we see here you can get uh, <clears throat> an answer that does not work.